taking a downward facing dog position. You can spread your fingertips wide and just gently pedal out your legs, bending into your right knee and then your left knee back and forth a few times. Feeling your tailbone lift high towards the sky as your heels soften down towards the mat. Eventually find complete stillness here. And bring your gaze to your belly button. And then reaching your chest towards your thighs, just soften into the posture. And invite your three-part full yogi breath. So allowing every inhale to fill your low belly, mid belly, upper lungs and chest. And as you exhale, empty lungs, mid belly and low belly. Very gently start to walk your feet towards your hands, finding forward fold at the top of your mat. And as you move slowly, just notice the quality of your thoughts, and the quality of your breath as you're starting your practice. Allow your arms to hang heavy by your side and just as if they were branches of a willow tree, let them sway left and right with the wind of your breath. Left and right. And then slowly come back to center, rooting down into your feet, begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time, come all the way to standing. And as you come to standing, find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Allow your shoulders to stack on top of hips, on top of the knees, on top of your ankles. Spread your ten toes wide and root down into the four corners of your feet. And as you inhale, let your arms rise up and over your head. Take your time. As you exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Bring your heart towards your thighs. As you inhale, flat back, reach your gaze forward. Then again, fold over your legs. This time, take your hands behind your calves and imagine that your elbows could touch behind you. So you're really allowing your chest to go closer to the thighs. Stay here and shift a lot of weight into your right foot. Shift a lot of weight into your left foot. Shift weight into your toes and then back into your heels until you come back to center rooting into the four corners of both feet so big toe little toe and both sides of the heel root down into your feet inhale arms rise up and over your head low belly mid belly chest and exhale bring your hands to your heart same sequence with your deep breathing inhale arms up low belly mid belly chest exhale fold bring your belly button towards your thighs as you inhale, flat back, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Push into your feet, inhale, arms up and over your head, come to standing. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. So we're gonna do it two more times with your breath. Inhale, arms up, low belly, mid belly, chest. Exhale, fold, beginning, middle, end. Inhale, flat back, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold, just let your upper body soften. Root down into your feet, inhale, arms lift, beginning, middle, end. Exhale, hands to your heart. One last time as you breathe in, inhale, arms up, fill your body with breath. Exhale, fold, squeeze your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, fold, squeeze your belly button to your spine. Inhale, arms up, come to standing, low belly, mid belly, chest. Exhale, hands soften to your heart. Moving on, as you inhale, arms lift up. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. From here, plant your palms and just step back to the top of a push-up. As you arrive here, spread your fingertips wide and imagine you're pushing your mat away from you through your hands, so keeping it down. And then kick back into your heels as the crown of your head reaches forward. Last thing, tilt your pelvis under a little bit. 
Beautiful. Inhale, low belly, mid belly, chest. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, baby cobra. So drop in your belly, lift your heart, soft through your shoulders. Exhale, find downward facing dog. As you arrive in down dog, take a full breath in. Exhale, three. Full breath in. Exhale, two. Long this breath. And at the bottom of your exhale, you can step or float forward fold, finding the top of your mat. Inhale, arms up, come all the way to standing. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Same sequence, a little faster. Inhale, arms will reach high. As you exhale, fold, bring your heart towards your thighs. Deep inhale, flat back. Take this entire inhale, just a flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop to the top of a push-up. Inhale, lengthen here. And then exhale, lower down, elbows squeezing in. Inhale, lifting for cobra or upward dog, shoulders stay soft. Exhale, find downward facing dog. One very full breath in. And at the bottom of your exhale, step or float, forward fold, find the top of your mouth. As you inhale, arms up and over your head, come to standing. Stay here, let your fingertips touch. Lift your tippy toes and off your heels, so we're finding a balance. And root down into your toes as you lift taller through your fingertips. But let your shoulders stay soft. Take another full breath in. And then as you exhale, drop your heels, fold over your legs. Now this time, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Maybe taking a gentle bend in your knees as your hands drop over your head. Reconnect with your breath. And if your breath is very deep, it's such a helpful tool to bring your mind back into this present moment. And you'll notice if you're holding your breath, just notice. Your mind is most likely in your past or in your future. So your breath is a very powerful tool to bring you into this moment of time exactly as it is. Soften your hands below your face, bend into your knees and lift your arms up for chair pose, Utkatasana. In this posture, tilt your pelvis under, shift a lot of weight back into your heels, now make sure you can see your toes beyond the knees. Beautiful. Imagine that you're the shortest person, really short, but your spine remains incredibly long. And now can you feel the shape of your body with breath, the entire shape of your body with your inhale? And exhale, empty. One more long breath in. And then exhale, fold over your legs. As you breathe in, flat back, gaze forward. Last time, plant your palms, step or hop to the top of a push-up. Maybe lowering down knees, chest, chin, or maybe you'll just lift your hips and find downward facing dog. Always moving with your breath. So you're always welcome to slow down if you find that you're holding or constricting your breath. From downward dog, drop to your knees. Let's find a child's pose position. Allow your tailbone to come right to your heels. Allow your belly and heart, chest to drop to the earth. And staying here in your child's pose, your chest and forehead down, just start to walk your hands to the right side of the room. So now your heart comes over your right thigh. And again, let your crown drop down. Take a full breath in. And out. Full breath in. And out. Slowly walk your hands through center. And then all the way to the left side of your room, bringing your chest over your left thigh this time. And just feeling this rhythm of your breath, 
making sure that it's still very alive and present from the beginning to the end of your practice, from the beginning to the end of your day. Slowly come back to a neutral child's position. And just take a moment to seal this 10 minute practice. Perhaps by bringing a quality to mind that you'd like to carry with you throughout the rest of your day or your night. A quality like presence, patience, or compassion comes to mind. Thank you so much. Namaste.